Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.1 which is coming out really soon and we have an exact date now for the release of this new update and also iOS 18.2 which should come out this year as well and will be of course the last big update to iOS 18 for 2024 but it should actually be a major update as we're expecting a ton of new features to be released with that update so we're going to talk about this in this video all the details regarding the new ios 18.2 and everything you can expect on this update and of course the release date for the new ios 18.1 which of course will also be the first update to bring the new apple intelligence features to the new iphone 16 series and the iphone 15 pro series now, first of all, we're talking about iOS 18.2 and we have a great report here from 9 to 5 Mac. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video where they talk in detail regarding this update, when to expect it and of course what to expect from this update. Now, as usual, Apple will release a major update like this, point to usually mid to the end of December before the holidays. It should be out, of course, before everyone goes on holiday. So taking a look at this year's calendar, I would actually expect that update to come out probably sometime here on the 16th or 17th of December. It should be quite a big update, so I would expect it to come sometime here. Most likely at the beginning of November, we should see actually the first beta of iOS 18.2. That might actually be this right here. November the 4th might be the date when we get the first beta. And then of course, a month and a half, we will go through the beta stages before they release it to the public sometime probably here on the 16th or the 17th of December. Now, first of all, let's talk about the chat GPT integration with Apple intelligence. That should be probably the biggest feature of the new Apple intelligence. Now, according to Tim Cook, he said that chat GPT will roll out by the end of this year. So at the end of the calendar year, it will roll out to Apple intelligence devices. So this is a feature that most likely 99% we will see come out with the new iOS 18.2. Again, this should come out sometime in mid December. So chat GPT will be here by the end of the year. I really expected this to be one of the Apple intelligence features that would come maybe later on with 18.3 or even 18.4, but it looks like Apple is actually ready to release this with 18.2. Genmoji will most likely also be one of the features that will be included with the new iOS 18.2 and that's the ability for you to actually generate any emoji that you want. So just think of an emoji, you can write it down here and you will be able to actually generate that emoji which is actually pretty cool. Now Image Playground is also another feature that Apple has talked about that should be a separated app which will actually allow you to create any image you want you can think of different images different styles just enter the prompt there and of course create any image that you want again these will be apple intelligence features so they only will be features that will be available to the iphone 15 pros and the iphone 16 series and the Apple's new mail app is also expected to come with iOS 18.2. So the mail app that you see right here will be totally different with 18.2. So we will have a completely redesigned mail app. that, of course, will also feature a ton of the Apple intelligence features, hopefully finally making the mail app better on iOS. And Apple Intelligence should be available to more countries now with 18.2, starting with Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and the United Kingdom. Now currently only available in US English, it should now be available to these other countries, of course, with the release of 18.2. Now, not everything is cool. With 18.2, we won't get all the features we heard for. We heard for at the Apple event, these like new Siri features, Siri 2.0, where Siri would be basically able to understand what you, what you have on the screen and interact with it. That will be something that should come with 18.4, actually. This was an early report from Mark Grumman, and that feature should be delayed quite a bit. So that will probably be, alongside with ChatGPT integration, the other biggest feature of Apple intelligence, but we will have to wait quite a lot for that. 
And now let's move on and talk about iOS 18.1. This will be released very soon, and according to Mark Ruman, who is our very trusted source when it comes to Apple-related stuff, Apple is targeting October 28th for the release of the Apple Intelligence features. Those features will be released, of course, with this new update, and will be available to iPhone 15 Pro users and the iPhone 16 users, of course, alongside the 16 Pro and the normal iPhone 16. So, that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. Leave a like on the video, and I'll see you on the next one.